this land, this country, this culture, he is deeply invested in the inner well-being of the human being. And as today WHO is predicting a mental health illness or mental health pandemic, I'm sorry, mental health pandemic means, what a pandemic means is, if any one person here has something, a virus, all of us could get it. That's a pandemic. Mental health pandemic means every one of us is capable of going cuckoo right now. This is not a good world we are creating. Because human being means you are the flower of evolution on this planet. You are the peak of the evolution, isn't it? Hello? You are on top of the world. But you are not experiencing life as top of the world. You feel crushed by your own intelligence. If you had the brain of an earthworm, you would be peaceful for sure. Hello? And you would be eco-friendly too. <laughs> now your problem is your intelligence. To give you this much cerebral capability, it took millions of years of evolution. Now you're complaining about it. No, you must learn to handle it, not complain about it. This is the greatest thing we have. Hmm? This incredible sense of memory, fantastic sense of imagination. We can think about ten different things at the same time. This is the capacity that we need to enjoy because this has not just come like that. It is millions of years of R&D. Hello? Yes or no? Now, you are saying if I had half a brain, I would be fine. That is true. If you remove half your brain right now, you will be peaceful. It is unfortunately true. You know, everywhere today, even so-called spiritual leaders are going about saying, peace of mind is the ultimate goal of life. I'm asking you, like you talked about your friend, if today you want to enjoy your dinner, even if you're not ecstatic, at least you must be peaceful, isn't it? If you want to take a walk in the evening, even if you're not bursting with joy, at least you must be peaceful. If you want to enjoy the company of whoever is sitting next to you, even if you're not dripping love, at least you must be peaceful, yes sir? So I'm asking you, is peace a most fundamental requirement or is it the ultimate goal of life? So when you talk about mental illnesses, you've lost this fundamental peace that you cannot sit here with ease, something is going on within you. Well, it might have come to such a level of compulsion, you believe that you didn't cause it. It is like you throw a pebble and now it's become an avalanche. You can't believe you did it. Ah, uh, but everything that happens within you, everything, your thought, your emotion, your chemistry, your health, your well-being, everything that happens within you is your fundamental responsibility. Hello? What happens around you, there may be many forces. What happens within you is 100% yours, isn't it? If you don't see that, you will never fix it. If you do not understand the way I am right now is entirely my responsibility. This is what, this is why this culture is significant because this is a, this may be a little shocking for people and uh, again people will get me into controversies which I don't want right now with safe soil going on. But what can I do? What can I do? See, this is a godless country, you must understand. This is the only nation and only culture on the planet. There is no one man sitting up there and managing your life. If this is a culture where we always told you, your life is your karma. Karma means action, your action. You are doing physical action, psychological action, emotional action, energy action. You are doing something and you are doing something wrong. If wrong results are coming, you are doing something wrong. Maybe you are not aware of it. If you have, if somebody is saying no speaking is an ailment, maybe your nose will bleed one day because of excessive picking. Hello? So if you say this is an ailment, well, anything can be an ailment. You can make anything into your sickness. Eating can be a disorder. Eating disorders are there, right? Somebody eats too much, somebody doesn't eat, somebody eats and pukes, all kinds of things. You are supposed to say, all this is right, 
you know this everybody has a right to be sick of course you have right to be sick you have right to die i know that but life is about being healthy exuberant full fledged taking this life to its fullest possibility that's what the life is longing for what opinions you create in the society is different but every life human or otherwise is longing to be full fledged is it the so huh life wants fullness life doesn't want ailments ailments today we are making them normal this is going to be lot of trouble for me once it goes out but i'm telling you because you are young people it's very very important that your intelligence never turns against you once your intelligence turns against you no force in the universe can help you nothing can do anything to you because once your thought your emotion your own intelligence your own chemistry turns against you there's really nothing to do